Hey everyone, Pastor Steve here. Today we are in Psalm 46 and I just want to remind you of some basics of, of Bible reading and, uh, and so before I get into my thoughts from Psalm 46, one is I really urge you read the chapter, read the passage of scripture on your own before you watch or listen to my devotion and try to understand what the text is saying. So yes, what verse speaks to you, but what does that verse mean in its context? What was the author saying? What's the truth? What do we learn about God? What do we learn about humanity? What do we learn about life? What is the truth? What is the text actually saying? And then how do you apply it to your life? Remember, we use what we call the, the HEAR model. There are different anacronyms that people follow when doing these devotions and so on, but we teach the HEAR one. Highlight what verse, what passage, what word, what phrase, maybe it's the theme of the chapter, spoke to you. E. Explain what does it mean in the original context, okay? Don't try to apply it to your life until you first understand what its original meaning is. That's the E. Then the A, application. How does it apply to you? What does it say to you? Then R, respond. What are you going to do in response to what the text says and how God applies it to your life? So that's just the, the, a healthy process to follow when you're reading God's word. By staying true to the context, you won't go off on some crazy, you know, tangent trying to apply God's word in a in an inappropriate manner. So that's that. Now, Psalm 46. What I wrote as the theme <clears throat> that spoke to my heart in this chapter is how our how we have security, our security in the midst of a tumultuous world. Um, this psalm, and it's brief, depicts how everything can change in life and how much turmoil, how much uncertainty there is in this world on planet Earth. You know, he talks about natural calamities, natural disasters. He describes it in poetic language uh, uh, with the, the mountains falling into the sea and all of that, and the mountains quake, earthquakes, and so on. So there's natural disasters, things. You know, there's floods. My, my home in east, southeast Kentucky few months ago experienced devastating floods. There are natural disasters. Uh, and then there's wars. And he talks about that and the casualties, the, the, the damage of war and how that can create uncertainty and fear, all, all these things. He said that's life on earth. But the, the teaching of Psalm 46 is that in the midst of all that uncertainty and all that turmoil, we as believers, as, as the children of God, have security, have security, and don't have to live in fear. Look at verses 1 and 2, two of the more beautiful verses in the Bible. He says, God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore, because God is those things to us, therefore, we will not fear. Though the earth should change. When there's natural disasters, the earth changes. When there's war, life, and landscape change. He says, but we won't fear because God is our refuge. It reminds me of Psalm 23. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. Why? For you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. It's the same message here. God is our security and gives us peace. Look at verse 11 of Psalm 46. The Lord of hosts is with us. I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. I will fear no evil. Why? For you are with me. Verse 11. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our stronghold, our security, and our peace. And, and he says in verse 10, that, that people simply need to stop arguing with God and fighting with God and begin worshiping God. Verse 10, cease striving and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. You and I, stop fighting God and worship him. Exalt him instead and find our security and our peace in him and his presence and in his strength. Even as things on earth are changing, 
we will fear nothing for he is our refuge. He is our strength. He is our present help in this present moment with his presence. He is our present help in trouble. We will not fear. Blessed be the name of our